Hi, my name is Game Warden Luke Richard. In this video, we'll be discussing the fishing regulations in the state of Texas. In this presentation, we'll be discussing the general regulations. However, it is important that you understand that uh, each location, each body of water may have specific regulations for that specific uh, body of water. Uh, therefore, it's important that you keep your outdoor annual book when you purchase your license. If you do not have that book, you can download the Outdoor Annual at any iOS or Android app store. Uh, in that app, you'll be able to find any general uh, regulations for that specific body of, of water and any uh, general regulations in the state of Texas. Once you purchase your license, you'll get a long strip of paper. This is your license. We'll go into more detail about this. Right here will display what kind of license you've purchased, whether it's a super combo or if it's a fishing a freshwater or saltwater, you have to make sure that you purchase, if you're fishing freshwater, purchase a freshwater fishing license. If you're fishing saltwater, purchase a saltwater fishing license. Those come with the appropriate stamps. Uh, those will run you from August till September. However, you can purchase a year-to-date fishing license, which will run you the entire year. When you look right here, you can see this is the year that this License will expire. This one expires in 2019. This is an old license. However, remember if you purchase a year to date, this number might not be accurate. So be sure to look down here to see where it's valid from. This one is valid from 15, 815 to 831. Uh, the biggest, one of the bigger things we come across in the field that people have trouble with is measuring their fish. Uh, a lot of people will try to use a ruler or the, the ruler that comes on a cooler or a tape measure. Uh, those are very inaccurate because you cannot measure them the proper way. Uh, when you, to measure them the proper way, you have to be sure that you purchase the right stick. Uh, we recommend the check it stick or gator rule. We found that these tend to be the most accurate. Uh, they have this lip in which you can properly measure the fish. When you measure the fish, make sure you close the mouth, place it all the way against this lip. You can stretch out the tail Stretch out the fish and pinch the tail to get an accurate measurement. We have many different varieties of bass in the state of Texas. However, for your largemouth, smallmouth, and spotted bass, you can keep a combination of five fish. Your largemouth and smallmouth have to be over 14 inches, and there's no length limit for your spotted bass. For your striped bass, you can Stripe and hybrid bass, you can keep any combination of five, and they have to be over 18 inches. For your white bass, there is a bag limit of 25, and they all have to be over 10 inches. There is no limit and no length limit to the yellow bass. For your channel cat and blue cat, you can keep any combination of 25 fish, and they have to be over 12 inches. For your Opelousas or Flathead, you can keep five fish and they have to be over 18 inches. For your Black Crappie and White Crappie, you can keep any combination of 25 and they all have to be over 10 inches. For your Alligator Gar, you can keep only one fish. However, you have to realize that there is a new law that requires you to register your fish on the Hunt Harvest app. That app can be found in the same place as your outdoor annual. This is your Hunt Harvest app. You click on Alligator Reporting and you'll report your fish. Thank you. All right, that, that should.